This is Stuart Cruz with Cruz Asset Management, a boutique asset management firm that makes investment decisions using math and statistics. Here's your 60 second investing tip with Cruise Asset Management. And today's topic will be valuations and interest rates. So at the end of the day, a company's current valuation or market cap is theoretically the sum of all its future cash flows discounted back to today. Because we all know a dollar today is worth more than a dollar next year. So if that discount rate is low like it is now, that might support the argument that valuations of stocks could be higher than normal since the discount rate of future cash flows is smaller. A dollar today is still worth more than a dollar a year from now, but not as just that much more. But as interest rates move up, that discounting gets bigger. And so the value of the company will decrease, and so should the share price. However, rising interest rates often can mean an improving economy, which means better prospects for the company, and in general, which should drive the stock price up. So as an investor, we must figure out which force is stronger and to what degree. Generally speaking, when starting from low interest rates, the improved economic conditions are the stronger force. But be careful, because if you look at high price, growth-oriented stocks and it missteps, the fall can be dramatic. So on average, it's better to stick with value-oriented stocks over growth in the long run. Thanks, it's Stuart Cruz with Cruz Asset Management. Time now for a marriage money gem as top divorce attorney Gemma Allen takes on the topic of domestic violence.